Hello everyone, I am Vijay Thapa and welcome to my channel. Today I am back with a demo of a multiple language website in PHP. I have created this website using PHP programming language and MySQL database. This project was created in 2018 because I was curious to know how multiple language website works. So this project is created without using any framework but it supports three different languages English, Nepali and Chinese. So without further ado, let's see the demo of this project. Now I have started the Jamf server and started uh, PHP or MySQL and Apache server. Now let's open our project in our browser. So I'll open my favorite browser which is Google Chrome and let's uh, access our project. So the URL is localhost slash project name and project name is PHP multilingual blog. First we'll not see admin, first we'll see the blog and later we'll see the control panel or control management system of this blog. So I'll open the blog and this is a simple blog uh, where you can see the logo here and here we have two static menu home and about us and all of these are categories for our blog which are obtained directly from databases they are not static they are obtained from databases and they have also link and whenever we click on any of these categories it will show the blog post on that category and here we have option uh, to choose different languages and in the main part you can see the list of uh, posts that we have added on our blog and all of these posts are obtained from databases they are not static things and we have read more button whenever we click on read more button we can read the detail of the post I'll go to home so that's it so this is a simple layout I have not added a feature uh, to upload the image uh, because that was not the primary thing. The main thing of this project was to try or add a uh, multi-language feature in a blog. So let's check uh, the multi-language feature. So we are on English. The default language is English but whenever we click on any of this language it will totally change. So if I click on Nepali all of the things are changed into nepali the logo is also changed into nepali it was a text based logo it it changed into a uh, nepali language our home uh, the name of the home button is also uh, also changed about us is also changed and all of these categories are also changed into nepal language even the title is changed here you can see title php ramasql ma bahubha satmik blog and all of this post i have uh, copied all of this post and title uh, from random articles and translated them using uh, google translate so uh, they might not have perfect translation uh, just i'm just uh, showing the demo of the project here you can see everything and even the copyright and developed by section are also translated and read more button is also translated into nepal language similarly if i click on chinese language then everything changes into chinese language even the language is changed to chinese our logo our home about us our categories read more button all of the text even developed by and copyright properties are also changed into chinese language so let's go back to English and we can all the I was already shown the read more section so I'll go to Nepali and let's select one of these so if I click on this then it will show the detail in Nepal language similarly uh, uh, let's go to uh, Chinese language now we are on the home page of Chinese language page and we can select any blog and read the detail so this is a Chinese language and Chinese language post so let's go back to English so this one is English and this is it so we have uh, three different uh, languages and all of these 
uh, article in different languages are saved in our database whereas the static things like name of the logo a home about us read more button and these are static things and all of these are saved it are saved in a text file or in a PHP file and they are changed using session value here you can see it's session value and these files are called so if you want to explore the source code of this project then I'll put the link in the description and whenever we click on one of these categories it will display the block related to those categories here we have different block and as we have seen earlier we can uh, also uh, click on any of this language and uh, change it into our favorite language so that's it this is the home page of a simple uh, blog uh, which accepts our uh, uh, which has multiple uh, languages now let's see the admin page or control map control panel or content management system for this project so i'll go to browser and type the url to our uh, admin page or con cms so our project name is php multilingual blog slash admin so this is the url to go to our content management system and here we have a simple uh, login page even this login page uh, has three different languages english nepali and chinese whenever i click on any of the language it changes or everything changes like login gun host and username in nepali password in nepali and the button name is also in nepali and we can also go to chinese and everything changes chinese so i'll go back to english again and we can log in using username and password so i'll go to admin admin and let's log in and we are logged in successfully and this is the home page so it says welcome to some system something and this is a simple cms you will manage all modules like categories posts uh, users from this panel and this is my email address if you want to contact me then you can email me on this address and here we have uh, categories where we manage all the categories and here we can see uh, six different menu and from here we can edit add new menu etc and if you want to add uh, the new category or new menu then here we have a section to add uh, menu in three different language first one is english second one is nepali and third one is chinese so for example if i uh, want to change it to english i will add a new category let's say i will call it culture and i don't know it in nepali so i'll uh, change it or uh, translate it using uh, google translate let's go here and we can paste the english sorry english language culture and this is sanskrit in nepali i'll copy it and paste it here this is in nepali and in chinese we can copy it paste it here and here we have two different uh, option first one is, is active so this will act as a turn off or on button if we uh, select it as active uh, active is yes then uh, this will be displayed whenever we uh, add new post uh, if it is turned off or it is if no is selected then it will not be displayed while adding new post and similarly we have another option which is include in menu if we select it as s then it will be displayed here but if we select no then it will not uh, display here so i have selected yes for now and let's click on add category and here we have culture is active yes included menu is s and let's load our home page and here we have culture now i will select include in menu as no so click on edit button and if i select it no and edit category now its option is no and if we load our home page then our culture is gone so this is how we can hide or display menu based on our requirement okay and similarly we can delete it but for now i won't delete if you want to delete then click on delete button and it will be deleted now i will turn it on again 
so I'll change it to S edit category now it's displaying now so now we do not have any post on this category so it says no post found now let's go to our admin section in post here we have different post and we can add new post by clicking on this add new button and here also we have three different title three different sections for different languages first one is english second one is nepali and third one is chinese uh, let's give it as post on culture so i'll copy it control control c and paste it on here and this is chinese so i will copy it and let's paste it here control v and nepali and we can copy it and paste it here and here we can add the description let's uh, search something uh, article on culture we can see something let's uh, I'll, I'll select this one i don't know what is this let's just copy for demo purpose oh i'll search essay on culture e -S -S -A -A essay and culture this should give us something cool so here let's see the essay where is it why it is okay i'll copy this paragraph and paste it here then i will translate it using google translate and here we have nepali and i'll paste nepali here and let's uh, change it to chinese and copy it here and we can paste it here and let's select our culture if uh is active was turned off then it would not appear here since is active is turned on it appears here okay and similarly as before we have is active if is active is uh, off then it won't be available in any of the sections like home or in category section but if it is yes then it will be available everywhere and in is featured if we turn is featured as as yes then it will uh, be displayed on home page otherwise it won't be displayed on home page for now i'll turn both of them as yes and click on add post and post it as it and it post on culture let's go to home page and let's refresh the post and post on culture and if we go to culture menu we have post on culture so let's change its featured option so we have its feature i'll edit it and let's change each feature is featured as no and edit post now we can go to our home page now post on culture is gone from our home page but it's still available on culture here we have on culture but it's not available on home page and similarly if we turn off is active then it will disappear from culture as well so let's go and edit it so i'll edit and i'll turn it off or no and edit post okay so let's go here and i'll reload it again now the post is not available on even on culture category okay it's not available on home page it's not available on culture so what if we turn the each feature option on so let's check again each feature is on but is active is off let's edit post and let's reload it's not available on culture and it's not also available on home page so to be displayed on uh, any of the section we need to turn on is active it, it is like published or not published okay so hope you understand it and if you want to delete you can simply delete by clicking on this delete button successfully deleted and it's not available it's gone from there similarly if we want to delete politics politics is available is still available so i'll delete politics for now so click on delete and successfully deleted and i will click on home button and politics is gone so that's it this is simple and we also have on the section which is users and here you can add update or delete user and to be able to uh, 
log in successfully uh, the is active uh, for user must be yes if it's no then uh, you cannot he or she cannot log in to this control panel or control management content management system uh, as before we can add user by entering full name email username password and is active option i won't create uh, it now but if you want to explore then you can add it and same as our uh, front end as our blog front end we also have the option to change the language of our control panel so we are on english by default if we change to nepali then everything changes into nepali and you can see it here even the buttons everything changes into other language similarly if you go to other language chinese then everything changes into chinese okay so this is our project i logged out uh, i was just uh, checking the menu in chinese language and i logged out so i'll log in again and here we are on home page of our content management system for multi language blogs so this project is a completely for a demo purpose or for educational purpose because uh, i wanted to know how multi-language website uh, worked and i found this as the simplest uh, way to understand uh, the working structure or working process of a multi-language website so if you want to explore the source code of this project then i will add the link to download this uh, project in the description below thanks so much for watching the video if you like this video then click on this like button and if you are new to this channel then please click on that subscribe button if you have any suggestions for this project or know the better way of doing this then uh, please comment below and once again thanks so much for watching i'll see you on new tutorial till then stay safe take care see you soon bye bye